himself, but his feet were busy. That run sowed a few seeds of doubt. Real confusion set in when Pavel Srinicek palmed the ball to Steve Lomas. His shot hit Frank Lampard, who recovered to score. Danny Wilson's rallying cry for his side not to lose another game was sounding like a voice in the wilderness, until Richard Cresswell turned on the ball and turned the game. It was the first Premiership goal of the season for the half-time sub. And it was followed by an even more impressive first. Vim Yonk's pass, Andy Hinchcliffe's shot. And that was the fullback's first goal for 13 months. Two more minutes, one more goal. Shielder Bielder started it, Alan Quinn got up to meet it, Nicholas Alexanderson finished it. 3-1, the day when the sun shone on the unwavering optimist. I thought there was a few doubts when we went a goal down. Selhurst Park, the Hamamless, were playing the Hesculus. In short, Wimbledon versus Leicester City. Tony Gubber kept an eye out for goals. Headed on by Lund. Gale battling for it. Oh, here's Yule. Gale. Whistle's gone. Penalty. Lennon is protesting to Paul Alcock. Taggart was in front of him, but did Yule clash with Taggart or did Taggart impede him? Wimbledon with the chance to take the lead from the penalty spot and hardly scores easily. Leicester City, which Muzzy Izzard has gone across to take. We've had just under 10 minutes in the second half. Elliot heads it down. Taggart! And to score from there, Jerry Taggart. It's 1 1, and isn't he pleased? It's a good flick on by Gale! Oh, yes! Carl Court. Wimbledon are back in front. Yeah, no, Castle United's performance in February. Bobby Robson was a popular and deserving winner of the Manager of the Month award. But that was February, this is March, and Newcastle, for the moment at least, are less convincing. Watford sought to exploit it with Nordine Wooters' cross and Heide Helgerson's header, but Shea Given throughout was in peak form. A failed offside trap in the second half left Alan Shearer clear but the goal friend stood firm. Unlucky there, but not indefinitely. Watford's defence backed off as Newcastle advanced. Didier Domi was allowed to time his run, and the low cross found Kevin Gallagher. Only 1-0, but at least it warded off the supposed manager of the month curse. The last time these two met, the knives were out for John Gregory, but thanks to an unbeaten league run stretching back to December, it's all smiles at Villa Park. That record was never in any serious danger. The only threat was Demarcus Hedman's goal, on this occasion from former teammate George Boateng. Player of the month, Paul Merson, finally provided the breakthrough. His centre planted firmly on the head of Ugo Ekiog for his first goal of the season. Benito Carboni was another player to catch the eye, causing chaos sometimes without even trying. Quite what John Eustace had in mind here, we'll never know. Julian Jurgim couldn't quite capitalise, but he and his teammates still managed to impress the boss. Hating Everton were patched up. Dennis Wise played wide on Chelsea's right, and John Collins filled in as Everton's left back. Wise saw plenty of the ball, and it wasn't a total surprise when he scored the opening goal. At half-time, Zola was rested. Eventually, Everton rallied, got the benefit of some muddled defending, and Danny Kadamatari equalised. Everton's gutsy performance deserved it, but it almost came unravelled right at the end. Torrey Andre Flo's cross allowed Jody Morris to pick his spot. Unfortunately for Chelsea, he picked the wrong one. Gerald Sinstat and Sue Thurl rounding things up for us there. Manchester United are now 7-1 to one on to win the Premiership. That's the shortest odds they've been all season. Leeds can cut the lead to four points if they beat Bradford in tomorrow's Yorkshire derby at Valley Parade. Tottenham's biggest ever Premiership win takes them up to sixth. Watford slip further away from the rest, but Sheffield Wednesday are making a fight of it. Bradford complete the bottom three, but if they beat Leeds, they'll move out of the relegation.